Hello world, this is Lock Picking Dev. Today I have a 40 millimeter Brinks padlock. As you can see, I already have the very end plate off of this padlock because I want to gut this so um, we can do that as soon as we get our open here without the face plate being on. That means that the uh, the cylinder inside here is a little wobbly so that will affect us a little bit but I think we can get it open real quick and just move on with life. Only four pins. That was three. Oh, there's our open right there. I think we hit them just right. And then we pull it open in the back. And I had to pull it open because our spring is not inside where the shackle is right now. That is held on by the exterior, the most exterior plate, which uh, we have removed to make this easier to gut. And because this one in particular, I did not put bolts in, meaning that, here, let's get this core out. It's still picked, perfect. We keep that picked right there. Meaning the, uh, pull this off here real quick. The original pins right here, focus please. Focus, focus, focus. Holy shit, camera. Come on. It's not that damn hard. Okay, anyway. There we go. Okay. Because the original pins right here in the end are what I have in here, and they're really loose. And this lock I really don't care to keep. But anyway, so for the actuator in here, you can see it's another um, uh, wafer style. So, way in the back, right there, and up top. So another wafer style. And let's go ahead and gut it now. Move all this out of the way. I don't really care about the lock too much anymore. Just don't get why this is not wanting to focus at all on anything. There we go. Now it'll focus. Holy hell, what a pain in the ass. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and remove our C-clip. Cool, tailpiece came right out. And our follower. Let's turn it a little bit to make sure we don't drop a, a driver in that little crack there. Go. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I see. Okay, and that's yeah. It is interesting, but I also see what's happening here. Some of the driver pins are in the key um, keyholes. So. Yeah, pin one's one of them. Pin two. So this must be. This spool must be pin three. Oh. And the last one's pin four. There we go. There. There. There we go. So yeah, very interestingly enough, it um had some of the pins, oh my god, there we go, some of the pins were, uh, some of the driver pins were also in the key pin chamber, so you can see that their, their tolerance is for measuring their pins to make sure they're cross, they're both crossing the shear line, or at least the driver pins crossing the shear line when it's stacked is, uh, not good because there's, uh, two stacks that were exactly that, and, um, this, I think, also happened in a, uh, the Brinks Pro Max padlock as well when I was gutting it. But anyways, that was the uh, Brinks 40 millimeter padlock. And just for fun, because it's the end here, let's take it the rest of the way apart so you see what it looks like. See how it starts to come apart here. And 
and in the bottom there you can see right there are uh, one of our wafer actuators starting to stick out but yeah that's it all right everyone that was a Brinks 40 millimeter uh, laminated padlock thanks for watching